pendulum dowsing is an effective means of communication with our subconscious. The side reel pendulum also potentially allows us to access higher levels. There are many different pendulums on the market. This video is about which pendulum is best suited for practical work. We explain the five most important things you need to know about pendulums. Brotherhood of the Eternal Light, Teaching the Western Mysteries. Five things you should know about the pendulum and about pendulum dowsing. The shape. Many esoteric guidebooks attach great importance to the shape of the pendulum. Certain forms have mystical properties. There are spherical, drop shaped, rod shaped, prism shaped, conical, cartridge shaped, spiral, egg shaped, circular pendulums, and Isis, Osiris, Karnak, and UFO pendulums. Does a pendulum in spiral form increase the amplitude and does it help us perceive finer energies? As for the shape of the pendulum body, we need to understand. The pendulum body should show us an answer of the pendulum, and some pendulum dowsing methods use so-called pendulum boards in which fine divisions are visible. A spherical pendulum or a ring as a display instrument is less accurate than a pendulum with a clear tip and the answers are less precise, so it is best to use a pendulum with a pointed end. The material. Many guidebooks attribute different properties to certain materials of the pendulum body. The classic magic metals, gold, silver, copper, and brass are preferred because they store energy better, likewise certain gemstones. If you want to find gold with the pendulum, they say a pendulum made of gold is better. If you want to find silver, then one made of silver. There are also pendulums with a chamber into which you can put a sample of the material you are looking for. Copper and brass are often considered more neutral metals because of their conductivity. Pendulums made of pure rock crystals are also considered to be purer. Pendulums made of amber are considered more sensitive because of their association with the astrological cancer. Some authors say you should choose a stone or a metal that fits your own zodiac sign. The string or chain. The material and properties of the string or chain are also often described. Is a string or chain better? Occult authors sometimes recommend a smooth female hair because it is the finest. Others choose horse hair, which is more stable. In any case, the hair or thread should not be split at the end, which is energetically unfavorable. To answer the question of the influence of the material of the pendulum body and suspension, we need to understand how the pendulum works. The pendulum does not move due to a supernatural force, but due to unconscious involuntary movements of our hand, so-called ideomotor signals. It is a means to communicate with the subconscious. Our subconscious can, depending on the current circumstances of the context and the training of the user, receive information or vibrations from the etheric, astral, or higher planes and transmit them to the pendulum as responses via the involuntary movements of our hand. The pendulum itself does not give the answer, but our subconscious mind does. Therefore, the material or the shape of the pendulum does not have much effect on the questions we receive answers to. We do not have to receive esoteric vibrations with the pendulum, so we do not have to pay attention to all these considerations. We do not necessarily have to magically keep the pendulum pure or consecrate it. This does not mean that you cannot do it. If you want to learn more about the advantages and disadvantages and methods of cleaning or consecrating a pendulum and much more, click on the link in the description. A caveat to the above should be given. If we want to find an object, we should concentrate on that object. It can be useful to have a sample of the object. So it is not completely useless to use a gold pendulum to find gold, but we can also simply hold this sample in the other hand. Whether a pendulum made of another metal will bother us in this case is another question that everyone has to answer for themselves. It is however also sufficient to tune into the object internally and to imagine it. A further caveat is that one should be in tune with the pendulum and that no disturbing impulses should emanate from the pendulum. For example, if you have a nickel allergy, it should not be made of nickel or contain nickel. To a lesser extent, this may also apply to the astroalchemical classification of metals or gems in harmony with your own Radix horoscope. The most essential thing is always the inner connection to our subconscious. 
Just as cleansing and consecration can help us to better attune ourselves to the work of the pendulum, it can also be helpful to make a pendulum out of a personally significant object, for example, a ring or amulet. Even if it does not have such a good tip, this can help with some work. One must weigh one factor against the other. Inner preparation and inner attitude are always the most important. The length of the string or chain. Some pendulum instructions suggest finding the optimal pendulum length for each material or purpose. So you would have one length to find gold, another for silver, etc. This theory also assumes that the pendulum receives any vibrations, but in reality, it is only about how you can establish an optimal communication with your subconscious. The length of the string or chain should be such that the pendulum is comfortable to hold, depending on your arm length. It should point comfortably over the table with your elbow on the table so that you can hold your hand naturally. The weight of the pendulum body. The weight of the pendulum body should be such that it has optimal movement characteristics. If it is too heavy, it will hardly move, and if it is too light, it might be too fidgety. Most pendulums available on the market have a good basic weight. An outdoor pendulum should be a little heavier and maybe longer because of the wind. In summary, if possible, choose a pendulum with a clearly visible tip and one that appeals to you personally and aesthetically. The more the pendulum is connected to the sense of an optimal mindset, the easier it is for you to put yourself in the optimal state. Cleansing rituals and consecrations can help you do this. Personally meaningful objects or materials also, but are not necessary. If you would like to see Solomo's favorite pendulum design, then have a look at the link in the description. There you will also find many other pendulums to choose from. There are many traditional occult methods of communicating with our subconscious. Pendulum dowsing and automatic writing are two impressive ways of doing this. They also allow us to gain potential access to higher levels. Do you want to know more about this and when and how to use these interesting tools properly? What do we need to know about them? Unfortunately, they are often used incorrectly or superstitiously and lead to inaccurate or misunderstood results. How can we gain practical experience with them? What do these methods have in common with divining rods? And what can the occult tradition tell us about methods like the Ouija board or glass moving? How can we distinguish superstition from truly trustworthy spiritual methods? If all this interests you and you want to learn how to use pendulum dowsing and automatic writing practically, how to prepare yourself for this form of work in the best possible way, and how to establish an effective interconnection to your own subconscious, then click on the link in the description. Tell us in the comments which shape and which material you particularly like in pendulums. Hey, where are you going? Just a little moment. If you liked the video, we would be happy about your like. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel and activate the bell. See you soon on the next video.